We stumbled on one just like that online. <laughs> where a man cried out that he found out after years of marriage that his wife has been collecting money constantly from her ex for the upkeep of the house and family, especially when he was out of job. He felt really hurt and had to involve both family accusing the wife of infidelity. Now the question is, was it right for the wife to ask for help? Number one, should the woman have told the ex Two, should the woman have actually opened up eventually? And three, should she have just have just managed With the, the downtime at that period? I would totally collect help from my ex. There is no ex I had that did not chop my money. None of them. <laughs> okay, so when back. I was dating, I was I've always been a working, working person and I did not go for even when I dated someone that was financially comfortable, I always feel like I must do something for you too, so that it was, you know, sort of added value to the lives of everybody that had come in contact with me. And if they feel in the long term when I need help, they want to support me. I don't see anything wrong. As them. long as I am they are not compelling me to reward them immediately, like have sex with them for that um, financial help. There's no I don't see anything wrong in asking for financial help from someone I had a relationship before. As long as there's it's nothing attached great. to it. Usually, I would say anything that has to do with ex. I say it all the time because I find women especially um, are involved so much with an, with an ex to the point that it affects their current relationship. But the part of where your husband is going through a financial problem and a friend offers because for me now I will not put that X on the person mm -hmm. the person is a friend and as you said it's not a sexual relationship it's not a so I know the question you are saying that is it disrespectful to your marriage yeah. Yeah. to receive that no, I do not think so if it's really? a friendship yeah you guys are friends mm -hmm. there's nothing between the, you guys anymore but there's something that makes your husband feel like oh I am not enough so for you to actually go and ask your ex or something, you are telling me indirectly that I am not enough. First of all, you know what they say, exes and current don't mix, all right? Uh, we are talking about a woman now who is getting support from the ex and helping the family. If you flip the script the other way, I'm sure most women can, won't also be able to handle it. Why do men put ego before the interests of the family? Mm. Because you see, the woman trying to support this man he support, she's supporting the family. Maybe it's a school fees, maybe it is house rent, maybe it is um, food feeding in the house that the man can't step in. Why don't we look at the motive behind the situation? A lot of women cannot handle your ex being in your life for whatever reason. I agree. For whatever reason, they cannot handle it, all right? So when, when, when is a man that we are talking about now, it's easy to say, oh, it's his ego that is in the way. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something. The reason that most women cannot stand their husband's ex being around their husband is because they understand women and how they can be very manipulative, especially when it comes to men. And the reason that men can't stand their uh, wives being around their ex is because we know men, we know how we are. You don't want a, a guy who still has feelings for your wife oh, being Fosler. around your wife. It has nothing to do with your ego. You are the wife. Mm. You know your husband used to date this big, big time lady. Now, would you allow him go and ask her for help? I'm likely to say, please, can she help me get a job? <laughs> I'm likely. Okay. So, okay, so she helps you get a job, no yeah. doubt. And then she now becomes your friend, a family friend. Mm. Because she's helping you guys. Uh. And she's assisting you, she's giving you a job. Mm -hmm. She's helping husband with a contract. And mm -hmm. then he's having to go and see her at the office to discuss contracts ah, consistently. Me, I'm Think about it, Maria. Let, let, me, let me take Maria. Okay, yes. let, 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 me, let, me yeah. let, let me come back in here. Yes. Okay. There's another factor that we're leaving out, mm -hmm. okay, which is very, very key in this conversation. Mm -hmm. The character of the, your partner. Simple. He has a major role to play. Mm -hmm. Okay, because everybody knows their partner. No matter how much ego you have, no matter how much suspicion you have, mm -hmm. deep down inside of you, there's this confidence you have in your partner mm. if you trust that partner. Yeah, okay? I trust.